we got more classical conditioning stuff for you here. So now we're going to look at, um, uh, let's look at delay conditioning, all right? So, uh, but you turn on the, um, the unconditional stimulus, the US, you turn it on. And as it's going, before you turn it off, you turn on the CS. So trace conditioning, what do you do? We're going to turn the US, I'm going to show you over here. We're going to turn the US on, turn it off, and then for about a half a second, interstimulus interval, then we're going to turn the CS on and then turn it off. The last one is backward conditioning, which it is simply about presenting the CS before the US, I think. CS, US, CS, US. CS, US, CS, US. I think I've gotten all of these backwards, possibly. Hold on. Uh oh. CS predicts the onset of the US, and the US predicts the onset <gasps> of the, the CS. The secrets, it's okay to look things up. Yes. So, hold on, let me double check myself here. <sighs> it's easier just to find this trace because I'm in the T's. No, I'm not, but I'll get there. All right, trace conditioning. I think that was page 74, I believe, because I remember this. And ladies and gentlemen, there is more than one textbook out there um, for, um, you know, behavior analysis. This is a good one. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you can look at it again um, because I don't advertise for this company. So um, the U.S. slightly after the start of the CF. I did get all this backwards. We're going to re-record it. Shit. All right.